Is Bakugan and Champions of Astoria worth your purchase? Nope. Oh, shit. So I know my review is coming late, like six days late, as I'm going to be posting this as soon as I'm done filming, which is currently uh, November 9th. Anyway, I wanted to finish the story before I gave you my full review so I could give this game a chance. Honestly, it's not good. I only bought the video game to get the exclusive Dragonoid. That's why I paid $80 Canadian instead of $70 for the game. And besides the Dragonoid, the other reason why I was so excited for that game-ish was because according to a tweet from the official Backlog on Twitter account, Leonidas was returning. They said it was the original Leonidas, but I was very skeptical for two reasons. One, if it was the original Leonidas, then he would look organic, and we all know, for whatever reason, Spin Master decides to make all back gone in the reboot mechanical. I didn't like that. Second of all, because of the way the new bowing system worked, it wouldn't make sense for Leonidas from the original timeline, the original series, um to function the same way in, as in the reboot. Now, I want to get this out there. I really do not like the mechanical the mechanical Bakugan. Actually, I think the mechanical Bakugan from New Astoria look way better than the Bakugan, or well, the organic Bakugan, if you will, introduced in this series. Like, I showed a picture um, Drago from Battle Planet and Macubus from New Vestroya. Freaking Macubus. A Bakugan that was designed to be a mechan a mechanical Bakugan, mind you, designed by the Vestals and by Professor Claim, Mira's fa Mira and Spectra's father. And when I asked him which one do you think is a mechanical one, he thought it was he thought it was Drago. Uh and he okay. My unbiased opinion aside, here's what I thought odd about the the whole the, the game as a whole. First off, there are only there are eight, the game the trailer says there are eighty playable characters plus playable characters. And what they did not tell you was that <clears throat> it's really sixteen different characters with palette swaps because you. Um, the only attributes that are present in the game are Pyrus, Chaos, Darkest, Ventus, Aquas. Now, I made a list of all the playable Bakugan here. And keep in mind, besides being a different Bakugan and having different B energy and uh, health, they have the same weaknesses, they can have the same abilities. So the playable Bakugan are Dragonoid, Pegatrix, Hydrus, Halcor, Trox, obviously, gotta have those five. Cyndius, Barbetra, Nilius, Treacherous, Gilator, Feral, Cycloid, Oxilator, Cyrus, Maxodon, and Centipoid. Oh, I'm sorry. Centipod. So, well, that seems like a very hu fairly huge roster, right? Well, no, considering you have, here are the notable omissions that they, for some reason, chose not to include. Gortheon, Kel Leon, Cubbo, Vice Rocks, Fade Ninja, Lupithion, Artulian, Tertonia, Maxitor, Clickelios, Hydranoid, Webum, Fangzor, Garganoid, Nobilius, Enoch, Rampari, Batrix. I'm, I'm sure I missed a few, so you can uh, put down in the comment section which ones, which notable omissions I've missed. But... Why would you put Barbetra and Maxodon? By the way, I think Maxodon is supposed to be Trunconius or Truncanius. I don't, I don't really know. I don't. I don't remember um, its name. Why would you put those two and omit the likes of Gortheon and couple like? Okay, 
I feel like you can justify um, some of these omissions like Fade Ninja and Artillion because they don't have a toy form and they never will. However, we never see them in their toy form. Uh, okay, you know what? Forget. Forget I said that. We do see some of them in toy form. So like Fade Ninja and Artillion. I'll, for I'll forgive them for Fade Ninja and Artillion, but they gave a ball form to Leonidas. If you could make a ball form for Leonidas, who doesn't even appear in the show, you could make. You could have just taken the uh, model used for Artillion or and Fade Ninja and copy paste into the game. It was that simple. Maybe just redes redesign it a bit and give it less detail, but you, it's still possible. And if you're wondering why I chose, I um, I'm not bitching about Pyravian, Gorin, Tico, and Trino not being in the game. It's because unlike Feral and Zillator, these Arrows Bakugan have no brawler, so it's more forgiving. Anyway, here's how here's how the game works. You start off um, as a character. Um, I play as a character named Thavia because I wanted to pay homage to the Legacy Bakugan. And for me, Fabia was the most unique name. I didn't. I want to name my character after one of the uh, Battle Brawlers. So I first of all I took out Dan and Shun. Gone. I also had to eliminate Jake. And Ace, because um, those two were mundane names. So yeah, I'm sorry. I love Jake as a character. He's one of my favorite characters in Battle Brawlers. Yeah. I also eliminated Page and Rafe and Baron. I never liked any of those three. I think uh, Jake did the new Brawler turn pro a lot better, and Page and Rafe were so boring. Mactanium Surge. So I have to omit them. Spectra was an option. So that. And so I also had to um, omit Julie and Alice for the same reason. So why, why I eliminated Jake and Ace. So that left me with Mira, Fabia, Runo, Spectra. And Ren. Five names. I picked randomly and I ended up with Fabio. That's what that's it. So so for the for the context of the gameplay and how I play, we're gonna refer to my character as Fabio. So Fabia, um she's at school, she discovers a meteorite, and guess what? There's a Bakugan. And they let you choose between Pirate Strike, basically, the awesome one's battle partners in their original attribute. And you have, I chose Trox. I thought it just meant take Leonidas' attribute. <laughs> like in the original battle, but I I'm just, So basically, Fabia has to compete in this tournament. So you're gonna bet Sprawler, and then at the same time, Stop the an organization from drilling a hole and stealing cores. I'm gonna destroy tournament tournament thing. Okay, sure. I'll give you the tournament thing because it's like Pokemon, and I play Pokemon. I love playing Pokemon, and sure, it helps your Bakugan gain the ex the experience needed to level up and evolve. The other plot though. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's like oh, you gotta prevent the organization from drilling all the destroy. It's it's not that good. And in the end, you def Fabio defeats Preston. Uh, spoiler alert: Preston uses Leonidas, and Prest once uh, you defeat Preston, there's like oh, Leonidas finishes him. But Leonidas, oh, they're my friend. You use me as a tool, but I want to be with friends and blah blah blah. So, and in the end, Leonidas joins your team. By the way, Leonidas is the only Aurelis back on in the entire video game.
You, and then you have to go to uh, Parasol HQ to stop Preston's father. You kick his ass and brawl. And in the end, you're left to explore and do the side quests. First of all, the side quests are boring. I have to find a soccer ball. I have to find this annoying brat named Buster. Oh, Buster's out again. Oh, shut the fuck up, man. It's a... The kid's annoying. And the dialogue is so cringy. It's one of the... It's that bad. I'm telling you... Unless you got the deluxe edition, it's not worth your money. Like, at least with the deluxe edition, you may not have a lot of fun with the game. But at least you get an exclusive Bakugan. So I feel like, ironically, paying more would be better. And someone's like, you have to find a brief. And part of the main story is you have to find a fucking package. I my packages. You have to visit landmark. And then some of them, it's basically, the side quests are dumb and mundane. Not worth it. The brawls, I'll admit, they were tedious at first because it took me like 10 minutes to complete a brawl. And I just wanted to get the progress through the story. But, admittedly, I thought the longer time was a bit better because in Pokemon, it's, um, it's fairly easy now. I knew... I know the game mechanics, so even when I start a new Pokemon game, like Sword, I know the mechanics. I know how, how everything works. Like I know type advantages and all type matchups and all that. So I feel like the longer gameplay kind of works. However, basically the, the way brawl works, the brawls work is um they're trying to replicate the way the kids gather energy from the show. You run around, grab back, of course, and it's dumb as hell. You just run in half a circle, uh, collecting back cores for the energy, and each core, um, and the cores can have different amounts of energy, and you have to, um, once your background stack is charged, your background is animation, by the way, same attack animation for the same, uh, Nate. Name Bakugan. So, like for example, if you have Pyrus Hydrus and Darkus Hydrus, um, and both of them do attacks, it's the same attack animation. Same for healing. Every animation is the same across for the uh, 16 Bakugan. And it's not like, and once you use your attack, it recharges. And. <sighs> It's just not, it's, it's dumb. Like, I would rather have the fights be all about, uh, Pokemon, it's, Trox, use this attack, you know, instead of running around and have a circle. Heck, even the original uh, Bakugan Brawlers game, I've seen footage of that, I've seen gameplay, it's so much fun, you roll around, you got some energy, oh, and you just... You can hit your opponents back home with your own. That was so much fun than the balance system introduced in this game. And your, your brawler gets skills and... Most of them are... They're good, but... There are two in particular that irk the fuck out of me. The first one being the magnet one. Like, you might be thinking, what the hell is a magnet? So basically, the core magnet is... You want um, you have to attract back of course onto you instead of just walking and picking them up. And sometimes it's hard to pick up the back of course. That's why like the you have, that's why you have a core magnet. The problem with that though is that um after a while the game tells you that you'll slow down by I thought it meant to just walk slower than your NPC, but no, you're literally just walking super slow like a slug in grass falling you Sort of like a glitch. I contacted Spin Master to inquire about this. He told me it's not a glitch. It's just how the game works. So I draw a different ability. 
the I, I used repulse, which is like the stun, and that one worked fine. And I stuck with the repulse skill for the rest of my brawls. Beside and by the this is entirely unscripted, is my whole opinion. And when it comes to the tournaments, the opponents get more difficult as the term tournaments progress, but you can win easily. In the entire game, I've only lost one brawl, and that was because I tried swapping my darkest trot with the Pirates Patrix, and that did not work out. Once I swapped the darkest trucks again, I kicked that kid's ass. And that wasn't even a real tournament. Uh, that was like a random NPC. When it comes to the final tournament, you might be thinking, okay, so Preston's using Leonidas. What am I going to do? I had that reaction. Turns out, like by the time you progress, you get to the tournament, provided you use the exact, use the same uh Team of three back on for most of your journey, which I did. My um my three back on were Ventus, Trox, Dime, uh Aquas, Hydrus, and Darkest Gilator. And by that time they've all reached their diamond evolutions, and you got your you're about to battle Leonidas. Oh my God, he's gonna be super strong, but nope. He's in hyper. He's in his hyper evolution. He's like one, like one kit, one thousand two hundred thirty-two B power. Oh my trucks like what six thousand five hundred seventy-one. The gap is there. And yes, he uses diamond skills, but you just all you have to do is just recharge your entire set. You all you have to do is charge like I would just charge regrowth, and that would kick his ass. Well, that's simple. I can even use like a uh, chip damage, like damage over time, that was still K um, KO high. Leonidas in, in one attack. Unless you use super weak ability. But at this point, why the hell would you? You know? And speaking of di the evolutions. First of all, props to Spin Master for giving Diamond Evolution to every background in the game, even the ones whose um, attribute is not their um, native anime attribute. It was cool to see a Darkest, Gilator, darkest Diamond Gilator and a Chaos Diamond Dragon, but... The evolutions, the, the the designs of the evolutions are dumb as hell. You don't get any aesthetic changes. All you get is like some different colors on like the plating until you reach diamond, where it's most of the body that's glowing. I don't have my binder with me, but if I did, I would show you a Titan Trucks card. It looks physically different than the video game Time Truck. You can trust me on that. Go to the backgroundwiki.com to look up what Time tr Trucks looks like. Just look at any of them, like Hyper Trucks, you know. Look at any of those, and they will look different than their video game counterpart, which is just the, the background with some different art. Overall, the game is boring. It tries to replicate Pokemon and the anime, but doesn't work. There's a reason why a lot of us legacy fans prefer the original Bakugan TV series over Battle Planet. You know, because you got ability cards and you got gate cards, and that, like the first Bakugan Battle Brawlers game did a great job at um expanding the whole brawl thing into this large arena and where you can collect energy and stuff like that here no 
Heck, ba Bakugan, Defenders of the Court. That's the Bakugan game I grew up playing. That was a lot more fun than, than this. That one had a lot of fun because it was really like a Budokai, a uh, Dragon Ball Budokai um, battle system. And why do you think Smash is so popular? So overall, don't buy this game. It's a waste of your money unless you get the Deluxe Edition. Maybe kids are going to love it, but cringy dialogue, awful gameplay. Terrible pull of Bakugan, and it's not worth it. And by the way, Leonidas, they were hyping him so much. They were they hyped him, like he's a, he's a, he's even on the cover. That's Leonidas. At least I, yeah, that's Leonidas. Yeah. So Leonidas was hyped by one simple tweet to appeal to a legacy fan, which it did, and he has, and he doesn't. When you show up until the end of the tournament in the finals and he gets defeated one shot. At least they, um, in this game, they chose to push the main characters like the awesome ones. I hate that name, by the way. They push the awesome ones aside. Besides Dan, none of the other characters make an appearance. Thank God, because I fucking hate lightning. Besides that, who gives you like the tutorial on how to do the controls, you're pretty much free to do whatever you want. There are no other, all the characters are new, so there's that. Anyway, I'm sorry for running for 22 minutes. The next next video will be a Blackwing Cancer deck profile that I'll be doing. On Dueling Book, it'll be a replica of my um, Blackwing Cancer deck. I did make some minor modifications to that deck, so don't worry, it won't be the exact same deck you've seen before. Have a good night.